Hi, and welcome to Stamping with Linda, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today, I want to teach you a fun technique that was shared with me by Mary Ellen Stites from St. Joseph, Illinois. I taught this technique at my two stamp retreats this month, and it was a big hit, so I decided to do a video to show everyone how to do faux patina. Um, this technique um, represents the aging of of metal. So let's get started. I want to show you the supplies we're going to use. First, of course, we're going to use the Big Shot. How do we ever do a card without the Big Shot? We're going to use the embossing folder. I'm going to use um, the Lace Brocade. This is on page six of the Holiday Catalog. Probably my most favorite uh, frame right now. I'm also, in order to achieve this look, we need three different classic inks. First, we need a neutral. I like using the crumb cake. And then if you're going for the faux patina look, the metal look, we need then two medium shades of a blue and a green. You want the first, if you're going to use the blue, to be lighter than the green. I am going to be using um, the crumb cake, the Baja Breeze, and the Old Olive, and then you want a darker color over top. I'm going to be using the Early Espresso for that. Then what you need also then is three sponges um, that we're going to be using um, with those shades of color. We're going to be using the Versamark pad. We're going to be using a heat tool um, a brayer, and a brayer and also some gold powder. So let's get started. First off, what we're going to do, I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper here because I'm going to brayer my folder. Stampin' Up's folders where it says Sizzix and Stampin' Up, this is the side that will raise up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink that side with my brayer. I could use the ink pad right on the folder, but I like the brayer because it gives it a more even color coverage. So I've brayered my folder. Next, what I'm going to do is take a piece, a quarter sheet of very vanilla cardstock. I'm going to lay that in the folder and run it through my Big Shot. With the embossing folders, we need tab one and our two cutting mats. And what happens when we run it through after it has been inked, we're going to get a oops. kind of a ceramic bisque look. And that is pretty in itself. But now we're going to do the patina. We're going to come in with our colors. Again, like I said, I'm going to use my blue Baja Breeze, Old Olive, and Early Espresso. I'm going to take my sponge into my Baja Breeze and I'm going to rub on top of the raised image or the part that is left still being vanilla. So I want to add the blue. Next I'm going to go in with the old olive doesn't have to be completely covering but you can start seeing that turquoise look next I'm going to go in with the early espresso and I'm going to sponge over that and you're going to start seeing the patina, the faux patina look. Because I've added several layers of ink, this cardstock is damp. So before I want to continue, I'm going to hold that up so you can see the colors maybe a little bit better. Just add some more brown in there. I'm next going to take my embossing gun. This is Stampin' Up's new embossing gun with the two different layers and I'm just going to take the light um, setting just to help speed this up. I'm also going to be using an embossing buddy because I want to make sure that the dampness is out of this card because I 
added a lot of ink and I just want to make sure that's good and dry so my powder doesn't set all over. But I didn't want to use my embossing buddy first because then all the ink would get on my embossing buddy. So I've tapped that and got it nice and dry. This is pretty, just like so, but I want to add the metal look to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versamark ink pad and I'm just going to go in and highlight the tops of that embossing. Then I'm going to go in with my gold powder And I want to make sure I don't want too much powder and it but it doesn't have to cover everywhere so if you've got too much you can just go in with your finger and kind of sh shake it off there. I'm going to go back in this time with the higher speed and going to go ahead and emboss that image. And you're going to start seeing the gold pop up. You can see it on the video. But the gold powder just gives you that metal look. There, it's starting to come out. So you have the oxidation of the metal with the blues and the greens, but then the gold showing the metal look. I think that's pretty much embossed and kind of hold it up to the light there for you to see. So just a fun technique. Now I want to show you those cards again. This was the one that I used the same colors, the old olive, the Baja Breeze, and the chocolate chip. All of these cards, I started out with my neutral color being the crumb cake. This card, I used the gumball green. So I used Baja Breeze gumball green espresso, and then I used shimmer paint on that. So it gives it a different look. Next, I kind of toned it up a little bit and went away from the metal look and I used pretty in pink, razzleberry, rich razzleberry and then I used gray ink on top of that and I embossed it in the pewter. So just a fun um, looking background with that one. This card I used the same colors, pretty in pink, rich razzleberry and the going gray but I used the champagne mist shimmer paint on that. So another a fun look. This card, I only did the patina technique for the leaf. So I, again, all of the card, card samples, I used very vanilla as my base, and then crumb cake. Then with this one, I sponged on more mustard, old olive, and went over with the gray. So I finished that one up with the gold powder again. So I hope you enjoyed the technique today, faux patina, and that you will join me again real soon for my next video.